this paper, we talk about development and validation of a risk prediction model, which can help uh, uh, stratify patients presenting to emergency department with COVID-19 infection. I'm uh, Dr. Ashish Gupta. I'm a structural and interventional cardiology fellow at John Oshner Heart and Vascular Institute in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm here today to discuss our paper titled Development and Validation of a Multivariable Risk Prediction Model for COVID-19 Mortality in the Southern United States, which is currently online and set for inclusion in the December 2021 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of my co-authors for their help and guidance with this paper, especially Dr. Chip Lavi, Dr. Jose Tafu, Dr. Daniel Morin, and Dr. Sergey Kacher, who were instrumental in getting this paper done. Southern Louisiana was an early hotspot in the coronavirus disease pandemic. Oshna Health System is one of the largest health systems in the Southern United States, and majority of the hospitals in the system utilize the same electronic medical record. This gave us access to a large patient population who were admitted with COVID-19. The purpose of our study was to look at what factors are influencing mortality in patients admitted with COVID-19. So the first step was analyzing data from over 1,600 patients who were admitted with confirmed COVID-19 infection between March and April 2020, which was our model development cohort. We looked at over 50 factors that might influence mortality, including age, sex, race, underlying comorbid conditions like coronary artery disease, kidney disease, presenting lab values, vital signs, presence of myocardial infarction, acute kidney injury, etc. With statistical modeling, we were able to narrow this down to an 11-factor model that was predictive of inpatient mortality in these patients. These factors included age greater than 60 years with patient older than 70 years having higher risk, male gender, smoking, acute kidney injury, presented admission, acute myocardial injury, presented admission, admission lab values of lactate greater than two, lymphocyte count less than 500, platelet count less than 150,000, procalcitonin greater than 0.25, albumin less than 2.5, aspartate transaminase level greater than 80, presenting oxygen saturation less than 92%, and comorbidities including congestive heart failure, chronic kidney disease, and COPD. We turned this model as LPECA model based on the initials of all the included factors. The score uh, had a, a good predictive value and a score greater than 8.5 had a 74% sensitivity and 69% specificity of predicting mortality. This was on the patients who were admitted with COVID-19 to the hospital. Next step was validation of this model. This was performed on 2,067 uh, 2, patients admitted between June 2020 to December 2020 with COVID-19 infection. And we found this model continued to perform well in predicting mortality, and uh, it was even more sensitive and specific in predicting the mortality in these patients. This model is very easy to use and can be calculated using lab values, which are collected at admission, as well as underlying me medical conditions that are present before. And this can help risk stratify and triage patients presenting to the emergency department with COVID-19 infection. Patients scoring high in this model have high risk of mortality and should be admitted to the hospital for close monitoring and treatment. Uh, I hope uh, you get a chance to read this paper and uh, enjoy reading it. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content 
is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.